Previously on Knackle d and is drawn by Don. Alright guys, welcome back to some more Knackle D&D. We've had some crazy weeks for scheduling, so we apologize for the two-week gap between episodes. <laughs> For our wrap-up, um, last week, uh, Johan popped Ripped the top the off of a hag like a soda, and, uh... I have that skull now, you can't take it away from me. It's yeah, mine. no, that, that hag is dead. That hag is actually dead. You have a hand puppet. Congratulations, you have murdered um, someone. Adrian is... Adrian should be a little afraid here, because hag remains can curse you super easily. But he's a robot. He doesn't care about curses. Adrian, not Johan. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying. Can't curse <laughs> me if I got the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> uh, but why don't you take uh, away the rest of the uh, recap, Danny? So, we... so yeah. In the last couple episodes, we've had a couple things pop up to just wrap up the last few sessions. Um, you guys made it to your contact of the Black Dragon that are the head of the black dragons and she gave you guys basic information what you need to know with the help of her advisor 347 or yeet as you guys have put him yeet uh, not yeet yeet whatever uh that's 7347 <laughs> what <laughs> no said... don't do this to me yes uh with his help you managed to stop a dragon napping of one of the most vicious daughters of the of the head of the family. Oh. I'm going to remember that Sky. <laughs> You're gonna find a <laughs> cobalt named Geek now somewhere. It's weird because the seven's multifunctional. It can be a Y or a T. Eh, it's just you gotta pull the <laughs> I'm... You pull down the T's pants a little and it becomes a Y. Oh, that disturbing thought in mind. <laughs> no, that doesn't make sense, Danny. Wait, hold up. No, wait, wait, wait. A Y is just a T with scoliosis. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, but then you were on your way, and after the uh, the thing that nobody incited me on once again about where squirrels, you were attacked by hags. Hey, I obliterated them on the non-existent atomic level. And I was I was sick. So I was trying. Like, I you didn't to incite me on where squirrels. Danny, where squirrels are a wild concept, and is it so wrong that we wanted them to be real? I was gonna say, Danny, we wanted to believe. I wanted to pet them. Yeah, but so I, uh, I don't after want to the what the two hags going on were over there. removed from the plane while one was uh, Gone. And so, what you would notice is, ah, uh, the quicklings that were also aiding them have also pooped, except for two that have seemingly just disappeared. Kind of where Dawn is standing. Uh -oh. oh, right, they ran away at the end, yeah. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> They're invisible. In the exact spot that Dawn is standing on. Uh... Use and, your sight. Uh, you guys are pretty badly beaten. You're all pretty tired. Look for loot. <laughs> there is none. We already checked. No, we didn't get to do that. Yeah, no, you didn't check for loot. There's one chest well, we in the started. bedroom with nits. Although there's yeah. really only one corpse. I still. But I mean, you. like, hag gear probably is decently good if they're from another plane of existence. What do we roll, Daddy? I guess. Uh, investigation? Hey. Turtle sees nothing. <laughs> if I, mine were backwards. I mean, crit, you got the head. What? <laughs> They're trying, roll, trying to the find the loot. Okay. I'll roll an investigation. <laughs> He's got a hand <laughs> on his now. He is too distracted <laughs> with his new trophy. I'd like to imagine he's just using it as a hand puppet. Like, I'm not even going close to that hag corpse. Like, no. I'm still standing on the table. I'm staying yeah. over here. So the soup wasn't poisoned, right? No, it wasn't. Pretty soup left. Fine. 
Yes. He's just gonna. Adrian's leaving. I Look, think. I'm a glutton. So, I'm so going to refuel Sky, off soup. I, I'm just moving. Okay. I'm I mean. Sitting. Okay. <laughs> Can I check so. if the beds are safe to sleep in? Sure. Roll an investigation. <laughs> Round two. That went so well before. Oh. Come on! Why am I good rolling? You look around. You, they look pretty safe. Dibs on the big bed. God, that phrase just strikes fear into your hearts when the DM says it. <laughs> uh, Nitz, you get licked. No, no. <laughs> what? No, that is not a mimic. <laughs> Boy, little did you know, there's a knife in the bed. I would have actually died if the if the bed was a mimic. <laughs> no, 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 no. Honestly, he screw treasure die, chests. A bed would be a much more effective mimic. <laughs> Exactly it's just one of those beds print? that fold up straight. Except when it folds up straight, the teeth pop out. <laughs> a futon? Um, no, it's, it's like a, a Venus flytrap oh, bed. No. Yep. Yeah. What is that bowling ball looking thing? I have no idea. I think Crit's bored again. Yeah. Daddy quick. But so, uh, Dawn, you, did you roll an investigation? No, I did not. Should I? I probably should, right? If you want to look around and see if there's anything in the room. Up to um, you. Gerald, the... Okay. Wow. So How about that? <laughs> immediately when you take your... When you step off the spot that you're standing on, you feel as if the the tile shifts up and down as, like, you step oh. off. Oh, boy. Secret treasure. Can I lift the tile? Roll a strength check. Oh. I'm a bean, What? Johan, I might need your help. Athletics. Did I say athletics? Fine, whatever, strength! <laughs> <laughs> I should have kept him on athletics. <laughs> okay, as you go over, it's like, you just grab it by one corner and you just pull up. Um, Don, Angry Lama Bean stole the knife. Don, if you could move and the, you and the Drake back a little bit. Oh, back a little bit. Go. He's way. gotta pull the Other secret way. panel back. Uh, Dawn I can't tell which is back. To me, back panel. is down. Oh. Oh. As you look down, you see a, uh, you do see a ladder. We should probably sleep Secret first. tunnel! <laughs> With a faint light coming from the bottom. Johan, do you want to go first? Okay. He just jumps down. <laughs> As Johan just puts his foot forward and then falls directly in the hole. <laughs> it's the uh, comedy. You're a robot. Song. I'm not going to make you take fall damage here because it's not enough to do damage to you. Drops like yeah. a rock. <laughs> As you fall 30 feet and you land, you see this like fluctuating oh, like. It's you don't see any like, you don't see the quicklings, but you see this like, faintly glimpsing rift kind of with this white outline but it also has like a sh it's almost like it's casting a shadow and light at the same time do I know what this is roll an arcana check okay if only our <laughs> archivist wasn't asleep oh. I have a 16 Danny well, what do I know <laughs> <laughs> well looking at it you, you feel like you've seen this before because you came through one this looks like a portal to the Feywild. There is angry light down here. Angry light? I'll climb down and look with Johan. Okay. In my 19 HP. <laughs> I'll say with Johan down there, if you fall, he can easily catch you, so you get down easily. Yay. Nitz, I'm assuming you started a long rest? Yeah. Okay, we'll get to you. <laughs> He needs all the extra sleep he can get. Yeah. So, uh, you get down there, and once again, you also see this, like, flux shape, or flux, fluxing. Fluctuating. 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 I bit my tongue. Leave me alone. No. Um, <laughs> Girl, the lima bean's gonna come for you now. <laughs> it's a fluctuating uh, rift, kind of like just a tear in. It's kind of like the portal that led to uh, to a lunacy. Oh. Okay. And how unstable that portal was, but just okay. on a smaller scale. 
Hmm. Did I roll an arcana check on it, or...? Sure. I don't know if I can tell anything more than Johan can. Are you trying to, like, not. roll to figure out how to what to do with it, or...? Yeah, why not? Okay. Because, like, I mean, what... You got a portal down here to the Feywild, like, that's... It's kind of like having a, a Minecraft portal open to, like... What is this? To, to like, the nether, and sometimes things crawl out, like, you don't yeah, want that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just in this case, it's hags. What is ah. that? You saying this and that is not very descriptive. It's this. I don't know. Uh looking <laughs> at it, you feel like as long as somebody watch or if you feel like it will close on its own if given enough time. But also you feel like you might be able to like forcibly close it. How do we Sorry. How do we forcefully close it? Uh, expending magic into it. Hey, I'm sleeping. Uh, Does anyone have any magic I... left? Let me see. I mean, I, I mean, what I does have... magical axe count as? I have two level four slots, apparently. What? Apparently... When? Where? How? Wait, what? what? Wait, what? What? What level are you? We're, I'm level 8, remember? No, she's right, she'll have 2 by then. Yeah. Oof. I have 2 level 4 slots that I haven't used. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, your first one at 7, your second one at four, uh, 8. Yeah. It okay. sounds like it'll close. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. If you have, like... I'll just say you expend a spell and it closes for a level 4 slot. Okay. Yay! What are you doing, I'm Tom? I'm assuming you were not expecting me to have a slot that high. I was expecting- I knew you had one, I didn't know you had two. What are you doing to Tom? Get that yellow shit off of him. Okay, That's so- That's Johan's friend, leave him alone. Well, I feel like uh, we've avoided a nighttime ambush, so, uh... Yeah, yeah, just star yeah. on a Nickelodeon ad. Or at least <laughs> you made it so that hags are gonna have a harder time getting back to their house. I mean, you a couple yeah, minutes. I mean, like- Making it harder for those hags is probably a good thing. Yeah. They seem like they're troublemakers. Um, now here's the question, though. Which Are I'd, ask, I'd ask Adrian about that, but I don't think he'd tell me. See? No comment. <laughs> so, so the question is, how are you guys going to get Johan out of the hole? He can't Thank climb these. Others. Oh, wait. Uh, because that ladder is not meant for something of his weight. He Tell jumps Johan. and climbs. <laughs> Tell Johan to yeet himself. I have an idea. I have an okay. idea. I have okay. an idea. Let me see if I can get if I can find the. Is the idea fill the hole with water and hope he floats? No, no. The, <laughs> the idea is not. I will, I will die. You will drown me. <laughs> um. Let's see. Dawn has a solution to this, and I know. I can do this. I think. I need to know how the spell works. Um. What's the spell? Fly. Oh yeah, that'll do it. I have. I just get a. Fly Why spell. do you have fly? That the my liar. instrument you gave her. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Am yeah. I just ruining all of your tricks? <laughs> no. No, I was like, wait a minute. You don't have arcane secrets yet. No, I have a liar. Also, bards can just learn it, Danny. No, they can't. I think it's a wizard spell. It is. Sorcerer, uh, warlock, I... wizard. Yep. Really? Yeah, yeah. it's yep. why it's why oh. Vio can't have it in Adventures League. That's unfortunate. So, we're gonna have a flying golem here. <laughs> so you easily get about that. I'm assuming you guys want to take a long rest. Please. Yeah. <laughs> I I so, hurt. <laughs> so, you guys have been ambushed in this room once. Are you guys going to set up a guard, or are you going to just take a rest? Okay, I have I have an idea. We close up the portal, like the 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 hole in the ground. We set Johan on top of those that spot there, so that they can't pick it up because I'm pretty sure he's too heavy to move. Uh, crit, you you don't see anything in the room. I think that's his. Have him watch the door. And. You know, keep an eye out on anything around us, but 
the door specifically, and we can rest it here, hopefully. How about, just for good measure, we move the table in front of the door and on top of the hole as well. That'd be yeah, a good idea. Up, didn't I, like, break a, a hole in that door? Oh, yeah, there's not a door there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, pick up the table and put the table in front of the door. Okay. Like, just hold it, like... Yeah. Barricade, Athletics. Barricade that into the into the door area. That's a pretty good athletics roll. Yes? Um. Map mm -hmm. player. <laughs> oh. Whoa! Can we also... Can, oh, oh no, the trap oh, door! The hole's moving. moving! The hole's moving! <laughs> it's the mimic! Broke hole! Adrian, are you sleeping there? I'm just chilling. I mean, that's quick reinforcements, so... There's three beds here, and... We're gonna have to fight over them, I'm assuming. Why is there so much writing on this page? Who knows? It just suddenly appeared there one day. <laughs> Why it's do you guys very... do this to my maps? I don't know. It, I think All it's right, your brother. All right, clean up the art. Why is Mickey turning into sands? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so back Crit. on track. Back on track. Back on track. <laughs> no such thing! <laughs> okay. Johan. Yeah. Keep an eye on the door. I would like this boy to appraise Fayhead. <laughs> Where are you sleeping? So, Sky, what do you do when this when the robot brings you the the hag head? I mean, it might not be a bad <laughs> idea to check it for curses if you have that ability. I oh. have identify, but I doubt it's gonna do anything because it's a head. We know what it is. It's a head. Also, would your character want to touch a hag? No, head? <laughs> he's not touching the hag head. Oh, it's I a touch spell. Identify it. <laughs> Sky, what are you doing? I'm just sitting here. You identify it. <laughs> so, so let's play the situation out, Crit. Yeah. Start it off. Please identify this. No. <laughs> Please. No. Please. Adrian. No, it's cursed. He listens to orders, I hope you realize. It's curse, go away. What kind of curse? A bad one. <laughs> A bad one? Specifics. Please. Look, okay. Death, go away. Okay, um, Johan. Johan. Yes. Oh, I don't want to touch that thing. I don't want to identify it. I've already been cursed once this trip. I would... Prefer to have the curses to a minimum. I can't cure curses. Does Johan have a bag of holding? <laughs> he brought it to the turtle. <laughs> I don't think the turtle wants to eat it. Give me a second. Let me figure out what I've got in my bag of holding. <laughs> Are you capable of casting identify? God, no. I am so out of magic and I don't even know the spell. I'm asleep. <laughs> I don't think Johan cares. <laughs> no, kidding. I am absolutely not putting that in my bag of holding, because my bag of holding has that uh, greater restorative potion in it, and fuck no. We are not having the hag come back. <laughs> that would be amazing. I think you broke Danny. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> I'm glad I did, because the second you realize that... <laughs> No, no, it's just a head. It's it's literally just a, a decapitated head. No, it's a debodied head. The spine is in there as well. Remember, <laughs> the spine's dangling. No, it's not. What? You told this me. This is God you, speaking. You, no, it's not. No, you <laughs> This la is God speaking. <laughs> well, God, last episode you Low said the spine was part wild. of wild. God descended down from heaven and told Johan no. <laughs> no, no, no. We're being serious. God descended, smacked it out of your hands and said no, and then disappeared. Oh. <laughs> I will slay God. <laughs> so, back on track. Um, 
keep watch tonight. Okay. So, first watch. Um, bed situation. There's three beds. Adrian, are you sleeping on the floor? Yeah. We have bed rolls, so... I mean, yeah, we do have bed rolls. I'm just trying to decide where I go. I'm just sitting against the wall. I maintain watch at the door. Okay. Nothing can sneak in past Your me. bed's probably big roll enough for you, Andrew. One, roll three. another perception check. Well, the guard drake's about the size of a like, black bear. Pretty big. So, as you're watching around, you start to notice, like, it's it's like a night. It's not totally dark in this room, but it's more of a dim lit so people can actually get some good sleep. You notice that it there's like a moving shadow coming from the back of the room. Where? The back of the room by where? This the back room. This. Oh, hey. Wow, I actually pinged in the exact spot. Uh, when you get back there, you see that cloak that uh, Zarima's had on all this time. And it's almost like it's on fire, but it's like a black fire. It, it's like a moving... It, it's like a moving shadow, basically. Was it doing that before? No, this is something new. <laughs> <laughs> Do not swing your hammer at me. The exactly two gears inside Johan's head are firing off right now. <laughs> uh, roll another perception check as you approach, by the way. Uh, Nitz, where would you put the Staff of Power? Uh, Probably would be, like, right next to me. You also notice that it is beginning to... Almost looks as if it's trying to ignite in this black flame. I'm gonna pick it up! Roll and, up. And make it not in the fucking fire? <laughs> roll a... Roll a d20. Oh, boy. Yeah, what's up? I got a fucking nine. <laughs> As, like, you touch it, it feels like it repelled you. Kind of like how magnets repel. This is like... You could get your hand almost around it, but you can't grab it. <laughs> it just what launches the Johan across the room. <laughs> uh, I know the solution. <laughs> Do not swing. <laughs> Who are you Please waking wake up? up? Please wake up. Please wake up. Please Ooh. wake up. Johan. Demon fire. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Hits his head like an alarm clock. Please wake up. Please wake up. Please wake up. Please wake up. Uh, what? Warlock is on fire. That's his fault. Hold on, let's see if I have anything. <laughs> I, I like how you guys take that very calmly and not go, wait, what? <laughs> Is anyone even sitting I'm trying up? to see if I have anything I can throw at. Like, no, oh, I'm, cur I'll I'm currently I'll take my pillow and throw it at like Nitz's it. head. Okay, uh, I'm gonna lift the fucking turtle up now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm up, I'm up. Do you turn him to look directly at Nitz? Yes! Uh, Dawn, you get a foot to the face. Ah! <laughs> Do I take any damage? No, it's just like, all of a sudden, a foot, you you feel like a, you're like trying to fall back asleep as all of a sudden, like, something hits the back of your head. And, Johan! And as you both look up and look at towards him, yeah, Nitz is on fire. He's just Let's on fire. <laughs> Damn it, Zareem, wake up, you're on fire. I want to go Delicious. back to bed. Detected. Yeet. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> How does healing and long rest work? Do I have enough HP for this? Ghost. Uh, I guess roll a strength. I'm going to underhand ghost. I'm going to underhand throw ghost at Nith. Ghost, roll strength check really fast. Oh, boy. Uh, just straight strength. <coughs> 
<laughs> he's holding on to uh, Johan's arm completely as like, around. As like, like you do, you manage to grab onto him just a second because you don't want to go. You you basically land at the, like right next to uh, the Drake. Okay, that's that's Turtle that's good. Turtle is cold. Fire is hot. Thus, <laughs> Turtle put fire out. Is my fire hot is the question. No. There's no heat coming from this room. fucking think my two gears for brain cells and know that. <laughs> Cost immediately as since when you get close, you know, so there's no room temperature difference at all. Okay, well, it's some sort of magic fire, so, um... I'll take, one of, up, I'll by the way. take one of my normal still... javelins and poke uh, I suppose at this point I'm probably conscious because there's been too much noise. Okay. <laughs> I mean, um, I guess Nitz roll a con save. <laughs> I'm poking him up. with the blunt Please end. wake up. Please wake up. Uh, Please wake up. Please wake up. Please wake up. Please wake up. Oh yeah, as like you poke him dead in like that spot that nobody can like resist when you get poked there. <laughs> So like the Pillsbury Doughboy belly button poke, but with a javelin. But it's like the side of his rib cage. Mm. It's like he goes ah. Wait, who goes ah? <laughs> Me. Oh. Uh, what? <laughs> You're on fire. Turn it off. I want to go to sleep. Am I still on fire? Oh yeah. Hmm. Would right. I be panicked by this? Uh, although my with job the, is done. Uh, with you being, you also notice that as he like wakes up, it starts to die and die down a little bit. Can I try and control this fire? Uh, well, first off, roll me a wisdom to save to see if you're f freaked out or not. That you're fine, just like, out. huh? This doesn't burn. <laughs> what the hell's going on? I'm gonna well, I guess try. Now, like, is my whole body on fire, or just it's, the... It's literally just the, the cloak. cloak. Okay, well... I'm cloak and the staff, as you also look and see the staff's on fire. I'm gonna definitely grab my staff. Or it looks like it's... It looks like it was trying to, but it's starting to, like, go out. Well, I would definitely be checking my staff in that situation. Because yeah. it's I, the precious child. I mean, guess roll an arcana. Arcana. A hard arcana. <laughs> that is a four. It, it, you you look as you like you're looking at it. And it's like some time passes and it, whatever it was has stopped. And like also the cape has started to go out, basically out. It's like uh, they're fine. I'm okay. Suggestion: Do not sleep with staff. But I need it. I do not desire an explosion. You wouldn't know it would explode. <laughs> Can you just store the staff in a bag of holding while you sleep? That means unequipping it and losing all the stats I get from it. And then you re-equip it in the fucking morning! That, and actually... if we're attacked in the You're middle of the You're not unattuning to it. Yeah. I was gonna say, It takes, it... like, no time to pull it out of your stack of holding. Yeah, no, you'd it's... still be attuned to it. You're fine. I still need to recharge it, too. Does that what? get affected by the bag of holding? No. Alright, I'll put it away. Okay. Also, once again, nobody fix your stats unless I told you to. Mm -hmm. Oh, was I told to fix my stats? You were, you were told you'd be okay, okay. too. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna uh... fix my stats real quick. <laughs> I haven't done that. Also, uh, Sky and Ghost, you, you guys are also okay to do your long Oh, stuff. thank god. All the HP come back. I'm All concerned the magic. that he said Sky and Ghost and not me and Nitz. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, if you want to do your HP and start recovering spell slots, just don't recharge items and don't fix health die yet. I spent all my key yesterday. Oh, so, my God. Don't, so don't touch any of my spell slots or anything like that? I'll wait with mine. You can touch spell morning. slots, just don't touch recharging items or hit die. That's fine. I don't use them. My hit die. Because you have like two of them. I haven't used exactly. my hit die and I haven't. Is it time for second watch? Yeah. Yeah. It's like everyone winds back down. Uh, the second you you watch again, and all of a sudden you see that 
that glowing in the back again. But you think it's fine this time, so you're just gonna oh, keep watching. Oh shit, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> As uh, no. the night goes by, everyone gets your long rest. You're fine. So, Nitz. Yes. Do not recharge the staff yet. I haven't. Yeah. Um, so, things to note as you guys are getting up and noticing. Nitz, Zareem feels great. Even Ooh. though he feels like he should have slept, like, maybe another two hours. He feels fully rested. He feels, like, 100%. Hmm. Man, that was a good sleep. I'd be a little slightly worried, though, because, you know, after everything that went odd last night. And Dawn? Yeah? Um, I guess everyone roll a perception check on this one. Oh, no! Except for everyone? Dawn. Perception. Except for Dawn, because she doesn't, she wouldn't have a way to look at herself yet. What do I see, Oh, no! Baby? You notice that she's looking a little paler than she was before. Hmm. Hey, Jemima. <laughs> Your curse is acting up again. Like, Dawn, you don't feel like you're sick or anything. It's just... Eh? I'm Bad skin day, maybe? In the shin. What? I'm gonna kick that Tarask in the shin. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're already cursed, will you please identify this? No! <laughs> It smells now, by the way. <laughs> it's been a few hours. It's smelling not so great. <laughs> that, that's a hag. <laughs> <laughs> that's a hag head. Um, those can technically face spirit. This is for Zareem. Face spirits can have a hard time passing on sometimes. Especially if, like, bodies are maimed or something. So hmm. there's a chance that the hag spirit could come back and do things through its head. Johan, you need to burn the head. No. If Her name is isn't, Patrice. If it isn't, like, treated right, like, getting it... Like, there's certain steps you can take to fix it, but you don't have the materials or anything, or the skills to do it here. That thing can be revived from its head. You Her name is it. Patrice. Oh, I'm good. Adrian's busy throwing up in the campfire. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that smells great. <laughs> I want to pat Adrian on the back. Um, Do you still have the head? Yeah. <laughs> Here comes wave two. <laughs> Roll the con, man, Scotty. Add a deck to choose you have nothing in your stomach. I like how that's a consideration for advantage. <laughs> So who's that, ready for breakfast? <laughs> no. You know what? I don't think I want breakfast. <laughs> I really hey, Turtle, don't think I, I want breakfast. It smells cabbage in soup. here. <laughs> you wish there was leftover cabbage soup. I finished that off. <laughs> Let me doing? perk. I'm, move I'm moving the table so we can go outside. Well, flaw, oh, okay. but perk. <laughs> He's eating the table again. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this fucker. Uh, no, 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 no. You put that bad boy back. I'm about to do something with it, Danny. Oh, boy. Ping where you're, where you're aiming. Just that, just that wall. Just, just yeeting it at the wall. He's trying to throw it and break the wall down. There we go. <laughs> As you throw it, the walls are kind of like hardened dirt. One of the legs, or two of the legs go straight into the wall. The other two break off and it's just, it's hanging diagonally. Way to go. Good job, Johan. Bunk bed. Created. Danny. <laughs> Hi. About the staff, like, do I... So. Get five points back. Only five? Only five. Alright. <sighs> I'd like to rummage through this chest I'm next to. Okay, roll an investigation. Yep, there you go. You did? Um, it's nothing, and there's just simple linens and... Yeah, that's really all Wait, it's in there. Like spare sheets and stuff? Spare sheets. I will make a count. little quick bag of with a knot so that Johan has something to store uh, Patrice A in. hag gown is also in there. 
Look, a dress for your friend. Please make a bag for Patrice. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Why have a name? <laughs> I named it when Nitz told me to burn it. So does the hag gown have any properties or sell value? No, it's just or... it's just a hag dress. Okay, meant well... for an anise hag, so it's huge. All right, well, I'll, I'll fold up. Get out of that. She'll feel at home. Yeah, I'll, I'll fold Johan up the uh, dress and then put that in the <gasps> wait, sheet bag wait, wait. <laughs> no, don't yes. do this. Don't put this sit on me. Yes! Johan's a robot, he doesn't have a gender. Technically. Are you trying to wear it? Tammy. <laughs> Look, if Johan wants Johan to feel pretty, let Johan feel yeah. pretty. Yeah, he can. Johan's gonna wear some clothes. Now abruptly aware of how naked he literally is. <laughs> Johan's gonna wear some clothes. Now abruptly aware of how naked he literally is. As like he puts it on, it doesn't look flattering. <laughs> Never mind. This sucks. It looks it looks like he's wearing a really big old moldy potato sack. This sucks. Please turn this into a bag for Patrice. Alright, well I'll like knot up any sleeves or holes and stuff so that he has just one where he can put it and hold Patrice okay, in. Okay, you easily do that. So can I have a stick and make it one of those bags on a stick? Cut a tree down. Do it. You have an axe. He can punch a tree down. <laughs> just, there, just. There's a. Pull, yeah, I'll say you can easily pull a branch off, and you'll be fine. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, instantly, as you get outside, though, you notice that a lot of the trees are are actually dead. Oh, makes it easier to pick the thick stick. It wasn't like this yesterday, was it? No, it was actually very lush, lush forest. It was an illusion, Johan. Something's wrong. No. Like... Was it an illusion? I mean, the squirrels were. I mean, roll the uh, nature check. Wait, I have an idea. I have a better idea, Danny. What? Nature. I rolled an insight check. Don, you look. You look at the branch that he just tears off for a stick. You notice that the rings on the inside are actually perfectly fine. It's just the outer layer is dead. I I insight check the tree. Did I drain the energy from everything around us? Yeah. <laughs> Arcana. You think this isn't you? Okay. All right. Don, I guess roll an Arcana. All right. Oh, come on. Stupid thing doesn't let me click. Good Damn, grief, saved by the nat so one. Today. <laughs> um, you think this might have something to do with closing that portal? Oh. We should get out of here. I think we screwed something up. Okay, but Dan. Hey, I didn't screw anything up. <laughs> I was Dan, sleeping. I have, I have stick. A bag is on stick. Yeah. And since uh, I'm assuming we're going to have a breakfast on the road, um, I'll... Do one last investigation around to see if there's any, like, just general supplies and stuff. It looks like there's shelves and things. Sure. Do we need to eat a ration, Danny? Yeah. I'm not eating in that. No, nah, you look imagine around. Imagine being a flesh bag. Uh, you eventually you start to look at the bookcase here, that you're, or the potion case that you have in front of you. Mm -hmm. You move around, you do find a couple of things. Like, you find a bag with some gold in it. Sweet. Um, what else would you find there? Find a couple uh, medicinal herbs. You find a bunch of of uh, mushrooms, and that's about it. All right. Um, can I tell if these are edible or poisonous or spell components? Roll of nature. Ones? All right. That's the first time I've ever to do that. You have no idea, actually. You've looked at these and like these aren't from around here. All right, they go into the bag of holding under mystery mushrooms. You the find turtle... four. <laughs> Taste it, turtle. You're a glutton. Yeah, a glutton knows when not to eat random mushrooms found that on a is potion not shelf. True. Turtle probably just thinks, ooh, mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. All mushrooms are floor mushrooms. So, uh, as you guys get back on, and I hope. Oh, how I much hope gold? We we're okay for this. Um, I finally did a thing. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, hey. Yay. Thanks, Neil. Yep, Neil Akuma drew us an awesome map. So uh, we now have a high-definition, fancy color version. Well, the other version was color, but this one has, like, trees and stuff. Yeah, it's better than what I could do. It's amazing looking. You know, it took me a while because the map, I couldn't get the map to line up perfectly with the under with the map I had under it. Ah! <laughs> so it took me a little bit to uh, get everything set up, and that was one of the frustrating things about this morning. So are we at the mountains right now? Yes. Okay. Actually, you guys are going to be... I get closer here, I'm just going to... That's why I was asking. Yeah, yeah, you guys are right on the edge of the mountains, so... Be more I guess on... there's a valley in there that's also still forest. Would be more that side? Like, over no, here? No, so you guys are no, going... We were... almost... Oh, we're on this. the edge of the. You guys oh, because like we right... went over the mountains, then ran yeah, back the dragon from the dropped swamp. you off in okay. this little val valley okay. because the town is in is in a. The dragon told you the town is in between those two mountains there. Okay. Were we told the town's name? No, no. We didn't ask. Oh, we did ask. We just weren't like they, they... called it Stone City because they they're not allowed in there. Yeah, they don't know what the town is actually called. It's a giant city made of stone. That's what they told you. Well, let's head off to this city. Get why we're going here. Oh, uh, it was the the people that stole the dragon eggs went this way, right? Yeah. It has been too long. <laughs> and we've been sidetracked and distracted by everything. Yes. Don't worry, I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs> See, so all I have to do during battle is have someone cast sleep on me, and we have shadow flames. But so, as you guys travel, it takes you guys about maybe... Uh, who's leading the pack? I'd be flying above whoever's leading. Who's leading the pack? Um, not me. Um, Adrian, do you have better knowledge of this area, or... I don't know, Danny, do I? This is, like, the edge of your territory. Kinda. Okay, so I'd probably defer to you and pick up the rear for this one. Okay, so... The robot should be last. I mean, I guess just roll me a survival quick, then... Okay. <laughs> yeah, it takes about half a... It takes you about half the day to get there, but you get there just before noon. Adrian and you guys set out maybe you. it was about eight o'clock when you set out, so it's just uh, actually just a little in the afternoon. Not too bad. When you arrive, uh, basically as you get there, uh, you can just see the sun because the sun's just actually no, I'd be casting a shadow towards you guys. So the uh, sun is kind of hiding the town, but you guys definitely see a guard post there at the front as you're approaching from. Well, I don't know, 100 feet out? I guess we should make sure that the guards don't shoot at us or anything. <laughs> Wave at guards friendly. Friend friendly. Lee. Yes. Non-threateningly. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I can't see my head. They don't know we're murderers. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you guys approach, it's a, uh, it's a closed door. I'm transmitting, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. It's a closed door. And you see a window with a bell on it. Oh. Is there a note by the bell? <laughs> or just the bell? Just the bell. So, wait, I'm going to ring the bell. Ding! As, like, you hear, one second. And this uh, human male comes to the window and says, How can I help you all today? Is this the DMV? <laughs> You. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, what do we say? <laughs> I'm not prepared for this scenario. Uh, <laughs> we need to get into the town. Oh, you need to get in. Um. Yeah. Can I get what business you are on here, for? or business or pleasure? I guess. 
Uh, it's business. We're tracking a thief. Oh, that's kind of serious. Uh, also, part pleasure. I'm having lunch. <laughs> Darn it, Lay. I mean, fair <laughs> enough. It is a nice day. <laughs> um, sure. Uh, do you know what the theft was? Hmm. I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to be releasing about the information. It's kind of sensitive. Okay, um... Well, uh, we do ask that you don't do any, like, major acts in in the town. I mean, don't... Just normal courtesies, don't go around killing, don't... Oh, of course. Just, no you know, promises! You know, use, use <laughs> that... Use... The hell is that thing? <laughs> As he points at, uh, at Johan. Hello, do you know Identify? Uh, no, 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 Johan, no. Uh, Johan, yes. This is Johan. our helper and companion android. No. What's an android? Or what is he war for? What, what do we got? Warforged. Warforged. Golem. Golem, there we go. He's is that one of... One of the Zab models? Yes, yes it is. Oh. Johan Six. I, I've seen one of those. We have a uh, one of our blacksmiths in town actually has a model from Zab. Well, this one's kind of a modified one, but this it, one has fire contact. This Quite. one has obsession with pulling arms and body parts off. Please, let's not let them know that this is a problem. Uh, <laughs> okay, so. We will I will keep uh, in contact check. with Zab model. So, uh, I need you all to sign this. <laughs> uh, and he puts out a clipboard, just, uh, just name and reasoning on why and someone to claim ownership of the golem. I will do so. This is Patrice. <laughs> the bag's probably Johan? stinking all the hell. I'm going to ask that you don't show Patrice around to everybody. I need to know if she's cursed. But Johan, the... Patrice is shy. Patrice is shy. What? What? I'm... I'm going to say oh. that you don't want to ask what Patrice is for your own sanity. <laughs> He's rolling an insight on you. Ah. <laughs> uh... Patrice is a... Hag head. Yeah, no, that's not going in the town. Please let us. Okay, that can go in the town. Just <laughs> <laughs> that's not going in the town. Please, that's going in the town. Uh, we just we just asked that you uh. That was a natural twenty and a natural one in the same roll. I fucking rolled an eighteen. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Doesn't that mean John had to roll two nat ones? Yeah. No. No. It only rerolls it if it's the primary. No. Nope. It, it was re-rolled, look. It, it rolled two net ones! Hover over the eight! Oh my god! It was a natural 20 and two net ones. <laughs> Damn. Damn, dude. Don't worry, Patrice will stay in her bag. Uh, I, I just... It, it is, but I'm... Did he just collapse? I dropped, dropped his my phone. phone. <laughs> uh, so, I will be alerting... Okay. Uh, my higher ups that there is a hag head running around. We're, We're gonna keep first, it from running all, around, preferably. He, first of all, he is mostly under control. Mostly, I'm sorry. Like, he <laughs> no, will he's not. He will listen to commands. He will listen to commands. He is programmed to do so. Not always. Zareem, <laughs> Zareem, I'm going to need you to hush. <laughs> and. Um. If I'm, anything, I'm just gonna if stop anything you there. happens, I am like he is. Like I will take responsibility for whatever he does. I'm just gonna That's stop you there. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend. I'm just gonna let my higher ups know. I'm gonna pretend that I didn't hear anything. All right. <laughs> so my day can go by nicer. <laughs> Don't cause shit, and all of you'll be fine. That yes. thing's probably stinking to high hell, right? And Johan. Yes. Please keep. Patrice, to yourself. You have like an illusion okay. spell you can Wait, cast on that bag question. that makes it smell good, Dawn. Hey, I have a I quick question. So. Hi. Um, I have a mouth. No. 
What? <laughs> there is I don't no have possible a stomach. <laughs> you do not have a mouth. Are you gonna try and How am I talking? The... You have a, a voice box. I have a voice box? Wait, you don't like, Robots I... can be done without can be done without like a functional mouth. I thought I had a mouth. <laughs> what, <laughs> no. What, was he trying to zoom eat in on the your head? character picture? I was just saying, if I have a convenient storage, you know, place, roughly where a biological stomach would go. <laughs> Roll you, a d20. You are not Bender. <laughs> Dang, this is fucking wild that you're even considering this. <laughs> Danny, that is an 18. Do I have As, a like, you're searching your functions, you go, as, like, you just, you go into a scan mode. It's like, oh, and your stomach just opens up. There is a storage compartment in your in your. Can we install a bag of holding into his stomach compartment? H hell no. <laughs> Patrice, <laughs> Why not? In here, I'm gonna put Patrice in and close it. Okay, as so it like shuts up and instantly the smells also gone. Guys, is I'm gonna angry and vomiting right, right now. Haunted robot, I am all for this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you know, you know if you end up being dolls? a haunted robot, yeah, what if the fine. doll was also alive while being haunted? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Okay. Like, yeah, you, you can, you're gonna be. A... I'm gonna head into. Well, town thank you for yeah. letting us in, and uh, yeah, we oh, will. By uh... the way, by the way, Mister Guard, sir, I'm what? sorry to bother you. What is the name of this town? Well, funny you ask. I was just about to say, have a nice trip into Deepstone. Thank you! And you have a nice day too, sir. Sounds okay. pretty deep. <laughs> Don't. Which, as you guys open up, <laughs> as you guys are let in, you automatically notice that this is a valley. This is a well boarded in valley with like towns and shops on the sides, and there's multiple layers going down and up. Oh, that's a cool town design. <laughs> which is why I couldn't make a map for it. <laughs> I require contact with Zab model. All right, hang on. Um, we don't have any more information other than he went this direction, right? Yeah. All you know is dragon eggs were stolen. They found it planted in the stadium when they found the one that they found. Mm -hmm. And yep. uh, that's... You guys have an idea that they might have set up here. We haven't left... Uh... Right? Mm -hmm. We haven't left. Oh, by the way, I'm going to equip my staff of power for my bag. Oh my god, you just pull it out and it's it's just a staff. You pull it out of the bag. I know. I'm just pulling it out so it, I could. I'm not having it say. You're just you whipping know. it out. It's never. It's not like it wasn't ever de equipped. He's just, but when you put it away, it is. Danny, Danny, he's just whipping it out. <laughs> He has opened. He has opened his sack wide, and he's just whipping it. All up. right. Anyway, Nitz has his staff, and we yeah, decide a uh, place to go for information. Staff. Well, I think we should ask the guard uh, that and see if anyone's passed through here before us recently. Nitz, I asked the same guard as before. Town. Yeah. I'm uh, sure people have passed through here. Well, and that I... would depend who. Do you have a description of the person you were looking for, or... I don't did, did we have any description? Can I roll to remember? Yeah. Because <laughs> I guys... don't remember, I don't have it written down, but, like, my character might. Did I possibly take a note for once? Uh, Probably not. That'd be intelligence. <laughs> You're not quite certain. I'll try and remember. Oh, that's a save. Oh! Uh, a 20, I'll just take it. <laughs> oh, yeah! Hey. Some kind of dragon person and... And Tibble. Yeah. Oh, right. it, okay, so yeah. I'll definitely be able to, you know, I described to him, you know, it's a tiefling in, uh... That well, look like one of our old companions. <laughs> not saying that. Oh, fuck. I, and, I completely um, forgot Tibble was involved. And kind. not just a local fucking asshole. <laughs> 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 uh, also, I uh, mean, Nitz, just because you rolled the next 20, I'll also remind you this. You remember that Tybalt jumped into a shadow when he escaped? Before oh before they all the craziness have, went down. He may not have come through the front gate. <laughs> Is he in my cape? <laughs> Who 
Which, uh, by the way, uh, now that you all are, no, no, are walking around and been able to look... address that with your mouth. <laughs> uh, you don't just get to gloss over that question. <laughs> no, he's not in your cape. He's not in your cape. But you do notice that the cape sometimes moves. <laughs> he's not in your cape, but something else is. <laughs> something yeah, was no, reaching it, it, for that staff of power. Think about it. Nick, I don't know how to tell you, but you've been diagnosed with edge disease. Your shadow is so edgy. Uh, it's a person now. Since shadow is in my shadow. Oh my god, Shadow the Hedgehog is in the game now. Edgy the Hedgehog. Oh yeah, before the entire yeah. Sonic universe is canon. <laughs> All right, so we we've described the people. So, um, I mean, there were a few Tieflings that walked into town not too long ago. Guys, I'm Johan the robot. Oh, is one of them red? They were all red. All right, that's Did not any helpful. of them have uh, dual wielding? Maybe one of them did. I'm not certain. They were. It was a fairly large group of them. Dual wielding swords. It was a group, black though. Black hair kind of flopping over onto one side. Little beard. Hey. Head of the stand hog. I mean... Kind uh, of sharply dressed. Uh, Nitz, but... by the way, uh, look at your character sheet quick. Um, which, the page you're on? Yeah. Okay. Uh, which part am I supposed to be looking at? Is the if you don't see it, the fans will, well, and then they'll I... call you out just like they call out ghosts for shinies. Well, no, I'm just there's half the sheet's longer than a full page, Danny. It should be obvious what I changed. Oh, okay. It's not. <laughs> oh, the fans I, I see you now. Okay. Um, so. Uh, let's see. You guys got there. Uh, I mean, they were coming around asking some weird questions. They came through a few days ago, so I'm not quite certain. Actually, I'll roll to see if he remembers. He does not! That's a three. <laughs> <laughs> What was the question they were asking? I can't remember. Mm. Uh, they came in a few days ago, and they've been in an. They've been staying in town. Do you know which direction they went when they? Uh, they may town. have gone towards the middle of town. Helpful. Hi. We have a. There's a couple of clinics down there, <laughs> and there's also like a tavern guild, basically. Well, let's you... check out the tavern. Yeah. Can you point us to the get tavern so we can find it easier? He points towards the middle, a middle section. All right. All right. Well, thank you for thank your you. help. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. Oh, no, not at all. If you guys are looking for a theft, it's, or a thief, it's always part of the town's guard to assist. Oh, if you find you. anything, let, it, let us know and we'll, we'll assist with the arrest. Uh, it's not really best image if people just come into town and start doing our job for us, you know? Oh, obviously. Gives, like, a a little <laughs> chuckle to that. It may not even... It, we may not even have any problems in this town. It may end up outside, but thank you. You have been very helpful. As he just goes back to his work. Off to, to the, the guild. tavern. Guild tavern thing. Leading Johan along. I'm go to the blacksmith. <sighs> I, I mean, we can the split up in town. I'll head over to the guild. I can walk myself! <laughs> no, I am cannot. not letting you wander <laughs> off on your own, sir. Adrian? No, uh, who's going to the blacksmith and who's <sighs> going to the guild? Adrian, um, why don't, would you like to is, assist Johan? He has a cursed head in his body. I don't want anything to do with that. In my tummy, it's safe there. <laughs> it's so cursed, that doesn't stop it. <laughs> yummy, 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 I got hag in my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! You're, ma you're making me hungry, I Johan. Um, how about we so grab lunch and then go there? Johan? Yeah. I don't want to let you go on your own. Well, why don't you go with him? Because right. this is my mission! Or we can just <laughs> tell him we're going to go to the tavern. Have lunch, get some info, and then we'll go I'll to the I'll go blacksmith. with them to the blacksmith. 
Okay. All right. So oh. split the party. Okay, so you know, bring him back for lunch, etc. So you, who's going to the blacksmith? It'll be Johan and Zareen. Okay, so that leaves two people out. So there's three other people in the party. So, uh, the blacksmith is on a lower, or is it like a lower section? So you guys would have to go on further. Um, but as the other people are, go as the other half of the group is walking along, you come across three buildings. A general store. Uh, or yeah, it looks like a general store. A building that looks like a tavern, and the one that looks like a clinic. Those are your three big, big places on this floor. Okay, sorry, it was the clinic, the tavern, and what else? General and store. a general store. General Those store. look like Thank the you. big, big shops in this area. It looks like there's a couple other ones, but it's mostly resident residential. I have to remember to have the clinic yeah. look at those mushrooms, but uh, <laughs> tavern so, first. So we're roll. We're gonna figure out who wants to look. If you guys want to split the party up even further and go look at each of these places, or that, but then we'll go do crit and nits, and then we'll come back to them. Do we want to split up and look further? I mean, we have no leads, so why don't we get lunch, talk to the innkeeper or the barkeep or tavern keep or whatever the term is, and go from there. That's logical, yeah. Sound good to you, Adrian? Sure. <laughs> Adrian's just happy to be away from Patrice. <laughs> Patrice. That, Patrice. That thing isn't... It's not safe. <laughs> we need to get rid of it now. I mean, I'm already kind of cursed, so hey. Like, Let's as just soon add as, more curses on. At, like, sometime tonight, or whenever we take a rest, we need to get that away from him. He doesn't sleep. Do you, do you want to try and fight the extremely powerful robot man? No, but some of us are a bit more charismatic than others. Me, actually. <laughs> okay, so. You guys figure what you're doing? Um, so, I need Nitz and Crit to both roll perception checks as they're walking along. Okay. No! Why? Yeah, neither of you see anything. So, you guys walk around, and you eventually do find a blacksmith that has... The front sign has, like, a gear on it, so you have to assume it's the right place. Yeah. Yep. Alright, so... Go in, I guess. I'd assume it's a shop, right? It It is a shop, <laughs> but the... It has more of like a, uh, it has more of like a door than anything else for it. So it isn't like an open blacksmith like normal. It's do I fit? It does have a door, right? Yeah. Okay. Hold up. Do I fit through that? No. <laughs> you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to shimmy. Oh, no. You're Johan, gonna have to shimmy. Do not break the door, Johan. If like you crouch down and turn ninety degrees, you can. Okay. Does he have to roll something for that? <laughs> no. I do. <laughs> but so are you guys going in? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So as you open the door, it's like the ding ling ling And you hear from the back, one moment! As this, uh... Do I, do I see a Zab model? No. As this, uh, dwarven man comes out from the back. Like, Hello. uh, how can I help you guys? You're... Gentlemen today? <laughs> yeah, Where uh, is the Zab model? He wants to see the other robot in town. He wants to be others of his kind, I guess. That that is a that's a Zab model? Yeah, he's a uh, special, let's just say. I mean don't know why do you want to see my assistant? That's you, Johan. Johan? <laughs> I need to see it. Why? <laughs> He's developing mo emotions, and I think he wants to meet for, uh, his own people. The man just looks at you like, why? You're 
He doesn't know much about you're, himself. You're just a thing. <laughs> oh my god, Adrian. I am not a thing. What did Jemima you do to... told me so. I'm sorry, who? He said Jemima. Well, I don't know who this Jemima is. <laughs> but you're just a a construct. Hey. I, I I don't think I have to do anything for you. How about doing me the favor? I'm going to try and persuade him. Okay, roll persuasion. <sighs> As he turns a corner, he you see him, like, get his hand. You see this about human-sized, like, marionette come out from the back. Oh, hmm. that's creepy. <laughs> As, like, he says, well, there it is. Anything else you want to see? I'm going to cock my head and look at it. Okay. And then walk towards it. Okay. And then put Beatrice's head on it. <laughs> As, like, the, the dwarf is giving you, like, now don't do anything stupid here. Same goes for you. I'm going to place one arm on its shoulder. <laughs> my, uh, wait, hold up. Wait, which arm? Um... Danny's gonna give away everything. Which arm is the the, the warforged arm? The left arm. Look with the left arm on its shoulder, and I'm gonna upload a copy of my core program into it. <laughs> no. Uh, you cannot do that. Why not? Be I can make a copy. That because if I'm a viable candidate, it should be a viable candidate. No. I want a friend. Here's the thing. <laughs> That's not like plugging into a USB port. Just physical contact is from the concert. Not? It is not. I'm kind of a magic robot. You would need to plug in. <laughs> Where's the plug? Take it in the bedroom. <laughs> you feel like this this guy isn't gonna let you do anything to his help to his assistant. <laughs> Why not? Sorry, this is so wrong. Because he's an angry dwarf. Called me that doesn't thing. give a shit. He called me a thing. Are you trying to start the robot rebellion? Not a rebellion. God damn it, I know exactly okay, okay, what here, you're here's thinking. An, here's an idea. You leave an angry review about this guy and whatever the, like, you know, <laughs> ancient... Yelp. Yeah, the, 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 the... That era world version of Yelp. Yield so, Yelp. Yes. Oh, so, uh... <laughs> Yelp. Are, are you going to do anything Leave else, or you. are you just going to sit there and keep your hands on my my assistant for, <laughs> like, what are, you, what are you trying to do here? <laughs> He's trying to jack in. <laughs> Danny, where's the port? <laughs> I need to know. That it is invisible. What do you mean it's invisible? Roll investigation, quick. With my mind's eye. <laughs> Nat 20, please! <laughs> As, like, you start to, like, poke her, it's like, okay, listen, what are you trying to do here? As he, like, he's like, I'm gonna get the guard if you don't, like, just stop. Upgrade. Efficiency. What do you mean, upgrade efficiency? Oh, he rolled a net 20! <laughs> what do you mean, upgrade efficiency? It will be more efficient. And what makes you qualified to do this upgrade? I told you he's a special robot. Is he from the company or something? Uh, he's direct from Zab himself. Okay, now roll persuasion on your side. <laughs> That's then... not wrong. Also, Nitz has definitely been talking to this dude for more than a minute. Yeah. That's what I'm going to give you advantage on it, and... Didn't Even though it. I natural 20, you beat me. <laughs> so, he's just like, what does it involve? Oh, he just needs to plug into the port. <laughs> I guess I wouldn't plug know in? that, huh? 
the robot would have to. I need to interface with it. Uh, <laughs> he reluctantly goes and he like undo does a hatch and there's a control panel on the back. <laughs> you might want to cover your eyes for this. I'm assuming I just like have a fucking finger USB. <laughs> No. <laughs> what do I have, Danny? A USB. You have a. Please just let him have, have a finger USB. On your back, you have a pan. You have your panel. Ooh. I will turn on. <laughs> Zareem, will you please plug me in? All right. <laughs> As like I'm assuming you open the hatch yourself. Yeah. And I guess Nitz. Roll an intelligence check? Sure. Where is it? This is horrifying. <laughs> you think you find the right cord. <laughs> is think. this it? Is it? Ow. I'm asking uh, the robot if it is. Eh, you don't know. I'm asking if I, I Danny, I got a, I'm a robot. I don't have a spinal column. I can turn this bad boy around if I really need to. Does he have the fucking right cord? <laughs> he, you, you. <laughs> All right, I'll just plug it in. Is it long Do enough it. that he can like put it in front of Johan's <laughs> face to say, "Is this the one?" No, it's not. Plug well, me he in. Me tugging it. <laughs> plug me in. I plug it in. As Wait. you guys hear a dun. <laughs> Do I have an uplink? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to copy my core programs over. Okay. <laughs> and make himself a friend. So while this is going on, let's switch back to the other half. Because the update's going to take a while. Oh god, I'm updating... Updating, You're updating Windows. 1%. <laughs> Windows... <laughs> yeah, Windows Yo.0. Congrats, you've just also downloaded Jarvis. I have Jarvis?! So, who wants to go first on this side? <laughs> you have a general store, a clinic, and a uh, and a bar. I thought we all agreed that we'd head to the tavern first to get okay. ideas, and then heading to the tavern. Yeah, and and then like, if there were leads from there, we'd look around, and if there weren't, we'd look around some more. Like you know, we'd s sort of start here and move out from the tavern. I don't know. That was what I picked up. Is that okay with everyone else? Works for me. I'll yeah. probably order whatever the chef's special is and, you know, <laughs> try to get on their good side so that way so... we don't make enemies of every single NPC we meet. As long as it's not oh, turtle soup I again. To... Oh, boy. Whoa. Actual At... people, not NPC tokens. Very yeah, fancy, Danny. Um, as, like, you guys get in here... And you guys see it's actually an Adventurer's Guild. Ah, oh, sweet! Uh, I direct your attention to the top left one. What about him? He's passed out. Good for him. He, he's living his life. <laughs> <laughs> he's living his life in that mashed potatoes. <laughs> There's an entire party of tieflings uh, in front of us. I'm considering having yeah, the mashed potatoes since they're so fluffy you can use them for a pillow. Oh, that looks like a dragonborn over there. As uh, as you guys get in here, you see that that um, immediately you notice that there's a huge group of tieflings. Um, you also see that the one that's in one of the ones that are in full armor is like having is getting frustrated with the bartender. Uh oh. Wait, Good hold up. Uh, what? Hold on. I just realized I went the way that has the least chance of suplexing someone into an early grave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you did. That Dang, was but you got a friend. Good job, me. But you that got a friend. I do have a friend. And it, hey, it's and less this chances time... for you to rip off limbs. And this time, this time, your friend isn't a cursed, b inanimate, c dead. <laughs> or a <Yeah>. lock. <laughs> yeah. So hold up. It does line up with Terrence, though. There's a lot of similarities with Terrence, though. <laughs> yeah, correct. Uh, Terrence yeah. became dead, remember? Uh, also, go. Something else you notice? There's somebody in samurai armor in this room. Hmm. Uh, that guy. Say, is it that okay. nerd? <laughs> the guy who with the samurai outfit. The little, little samurai bun. 
Hold up, is that Zavala from fucking Destiny? No. No, he's not blue. Oh, you mean this guy? He looks a lot like Zavala, except not blue. So, what do you guys want to do? You guys have the floor here. I'm not directing this. All right. All right. Um. So you said where was the argument that two people in front uh, of the counter? Or... Front two tieflings. Danny, could you pull that token up? I just want to look at it. Is it a child or a goddamn empress? Okay, I was. Demon. It kind of looked like a fish head on her <laughs> head. She might be blind with eyes like that. Um. I actually have full art for her. Give me one moment. I like the design. You should. Wizards did it. So what is acceptable eavesdropping uh, range? Like, how close do I have to be? You could probably hear the tiefling table from where you are. Oh, I do not I have found my that first. with me. Just because I found this first. Oh, the passed out guy. That is awesome. <laughs> His shoe's <laughs> missing. It is. His poor shoe. It's on the floor. Ghost, you should be friends with him. He clearly likes food. Look at all the food around him. It's, you might, or some people might recognize this. I probably won't. I don't know most cards. That, yeah, no. That's, that's the, the little girl. I want that staff. Nitz. You can't dual wield. <laughs> You'd have to choose. Uh, Danny? What? My guard rig isn't with me. <laughs> you have to stay outside. No dogs allowed. No Not dogs a dog. allowed. They don't know that. As like, I'm as sorry, it's a service the, animal? So the Drake thing, pe a couple people looked down and were like, huh. <laughs> they try and pet it. Because <laughs> all doggos are good doggos. Alright, so I will uh, order the chicken the and mashed thing, potatoes. The one tea thing that I just blew up is especially interested. Mm. Oh. Like, oh! And then, what is it? Salmon is the Guard Drake's favorite? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Alright, I'll see if they have uh, salmon. As, like, the one T feeling that's looking is like, do, do you mind? We're, we're trying to get some information here. I don't feel like it's necessary for you to cut in. Oh, I just assumed that he was capable of taking orders. Well, you know. Continue. I will wait. As, like, she goes, now once again, we, we know he came through here. Where'd he go? And the bartender's like, I don't know shit. And this just keeps going on. Do they ever mention any names? They they seem to be a little tight lipped. So they're 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 repeatedly asking this. Yeah. It, does the bartender seem like he's like hiding something, or is he annoyed? That's like, a she's salt in the bartender. Chat, she. Do you think if I left right now, I could get to Culver's before it closes in fifteen minutes? No. I will kneecap you. <laughs> what? Just take, just take 30 minutes not get not getting back to me. It works. There you go, Dawn. Have a fish. <laughs> I mean, Sad he definitely fish. could do it. Um, because I have... Uh, I, I he have... said that, now he's leaving. So Did he leave, Don Danny? Did he actually leave? Do I have... I... Oh, never mind. I don't have Zone of Truth uh, prepared anyway. Just I was going to offer to... If he goes, oh. then I don't have to worry about making a, a robot. Fair enough. Danny, no, Danny, you do, I'm, Danny, because I'm with them. Danny, I'm inciting the uh, the barkeep. Okay, the barkeep. He actually is like, <laughs> leaving. He's, leaving. <laughs> He's actually leaving. I can't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mid game well, ice cream break. All right. <laughs> That's not even a Culver's nearby him. It's um, about thirty minutes away from him. Yeah. So. Uh, you get that she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. You're kind of pissing me off. But I was inciting her to see if she's lying. No, she doesn't know. Oh, okay. Like, if you want to find somebody, maybe go talk to the fortune teller up the road. She gives good advice. She might know. I don't know she might be able to find him for all I care. You know, if you don't mind, I got other customers. As, like, she scoffs and she goes back over here.
and they're just talking amongst themselves now. It's like, now what can I help you with, sir? Ah, I'd love the uh, chicken and mashed potatoes, and if you had <laughs> salmon for the guard, Drake, I don't know what you guys want. I'm sorry, we only sell ale. That guy uh, brought his own food in. Actually, he did. He, he's been traveling around a lot. Uh, he just got back from a mission that happened over somewhere in the east. Apparently, there's some new up-and-coming cook over there that's working with an older family. Hmm. He's been making some really good progress in dishes. <laughs> Don't mind me. Well, I think apparently, I can handle an apparently ale. Apparently not all tieflings are as low class. If only I still wow, had that access was to the racist. Wow. Does the guard drink Drake drink ale or water, Dawn? I'm thinking water. As like the tieflings just shrug and they just, they're starting to leave. The one turns are like, bye little Drake. Oh. <laughs> do, do you have something light? Uh we have some white app some light apple beers that are good for early morning drinking and such, or this is about midday, so I just oh my want gosh, something it, we, we've entered a new phase of reality. Sky's playing a character who doesn't drink the hardest <laughs> thing in the entire bar. The exact Different opposite. <laughs> Different characters. <laughs> Quick, make him a martini. Clearly, Adrian does not have as much of a death wish as um, Zeradar does. Hey, you don't know. You don't know anything about Adrian yet. <laughs> So, what do the drinks cost? Ah, silver each. Uh, how, how many silver to a gold? Ten. Ten. So I'll just pay with a gold and have her keep the rest as a tip to try and, you know, make her feel a little bit better after having to deal with the uh, tiefling group. Ah, oh, well, Same. much appreciated. Who drew a martini? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Crit, are you actually gone? Yes, he I, is. Oh, yeah, he, the door gone. closed. He was gone. <laughs> He's just gone. I think it's uh, Danny, I guess gone. I'm going to be handling everything there. Yeah, I'll roll for him. We'll figure out what happened. Um, so, she's like, yeah, I mean, it's weird. It's been a long day. But, uh, was that all you guys needed? Just some drinks, or were you guys looking for, like, gigs or anything, or? Seem like We've you're been looking for information. Well, we sell that, so. Um. Okay, we're searching for a. I think it's a tiefling and a dragonborn. Well, was it any of those fucks? Uh, did not look like it. Have you eh. seen a tiefling that isn't associated with them, floating around? Red skin, kind of fancy clothing, black hair, kind of falling on one side of his head, little beard. Propensity to stab people in the side a lot. Yeah. yeah. Has a curse Two blade. swords. <laughs> um, Likes cursing people. I don't know. We don't have many... I mean, yeah, we don't have many tieflings come through, so that was especially a rare sight. Uh, seeing... Hmm. Can they over here? <laughs> no, they're gone. They left. I'm just too lazy to delete their tokens. <laughs> I got, I, I got um, I mean, dragonborns are one thing. Uh, we don't really. The only dragonborn we have is uh, Kirk in the background or in the back there. And tieflings are even rare. So, I mean, like I said to them, if you're looking for somebody, there's a uh, fortune teller in town who's especially good with divination. We might have to go check the fortune teller out. I I get the feeling that people we're looking for are probably not going to let themselves be seen very easily. Okay, well, uh, if you need assistance, they're on the lower district next to the blacksmith. Well, oh, we have that's convenient. Went to the blacksmith, so oh, that little might ways be down the road, they're all on the lower districts. They're kind of more spread out due to structural issues. Makes sense. But yeah, no, so... I mean, if you guys are new to the area, I hope you enjoy. Well, thank well, you. Hopefully we will. Danny. Hmm? I'm gonna eaves uh, eavesdrop on the uh, the people behind me. So the Dragonborn and the group. 
there. Okay. Uh, roll perception check quick. Uh, you also notice that the guy who's sitting on the top, not the, not next to the dragon board, but crossed. Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't have eyeballs. Who doesn't have what, eyeballs? This guy. That guy doesn't have eyeballs. Hmm. Oh. Uh, that's creepy. That's creepy. Okay. Yeah, it looks like he's reading a reading some kind of book. All right, okay. as you do. Yeah, it... as you do, Zareem. No. Oh wait, you're not there. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, do I hear anything? No, he's just. They're not talking about much. They're talking about maybe small chat. Like, uh, did you hear about the news from down the road? Like, it's just it's just small talk. Nothing important. Okay, what about the group above them? They look to be pondering something. Like whether or not to steal the fried chicken? Well, that's what the orc's thinking. Okay, well, do I hear, like, specifics? Uh, it's like, well, if we did this, it wouldn't... There's a gnome there, it looks like he has some kind of diagram. They're all looking at, like... Well, what if we did this? Is like no, because then this interdex is like no. If we do this, like no, then this will cross. It's just they're trying to talk with each other, and the person who it looks like their mechanic has uh, passed out. Do I see what's on like the schematic stuff? <laughs> um, <laughs> roll <of> perception. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. do you want to re-roll that? Could. <laughs> I'm close enough. Damn. Much better. Um, <laughs> you're looking like... It, it looks to be a diagram for some kind of... It looks like maybe a boat or something. Okay. It It definitely looks like a map with some kind of, like, drawings on it. Okay. Um... You also notice that there's a uh there is a interesting symbol on the uh, little case that the is next to the passed out guy. And what is it? It looks like an olive. Okay. And it's like, you know, you've seen that somewhere before. An olive? Can it's I make an... a history check? You may make a intelligence check. Uh, okay. Like, wait a minute, that... I know what that is. Eden loves that place. What is it? It's a rest... It's the symbol for a uh, restaurant that was in a town called Audio Bay that Eden <laughs> frequented. Like, he would always bring back... What? Was it the one that he brought us to? Yeah. Uh-huh. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Sky? Yeah? Did you catch what I said earlier? About? About some new upcoming chef that's yeah. making... Yeah, yeah, I just didn't have access to the to the sheet to make a joke. Oh, okay. Okay. So, uh... Okay. I'm gonna scoot over to this one and listen to this table now. Okay, roll perception again. Ghost finally got it! Wait, you didn't notice that before, Ghost? Ghost. Dear God. Ghost, he even, he even pointed out I that didn't, it was a I thought it was background lore. I didn't realize it was referencing Zuradar. I'm slow on the update. <laughs> Very. Zerdar has been doing good with his with his uh chef duties. So <laughs> I noticed the role only because he has a good mentor that keeps rolling natural toys. <laughs> <laughs> um so uh they're they're just they're sitting around having a drink. They're not even talking. Okay, what about the 21 you you hear that they're muttering. It seems like a lot of those guys are wizards on the top. Okay. The wizards are spiritualists, and they're just talking about spells. Alright. 
I'm surprised Adrian's not trying to flirt with anyone here. Nit. This, this is Nit. Adrian. I have a negative one charisma. <laughs> I'm not stupid. You, never mind. I, it's not like I have an 11 intelligence. I'm, it's fine. <laughs> Aren't you also I, I, really shy in, in like random places? Yeah. I I think we're fine with uh or we can we can move on now. All right. I'd like to head to the medic place or potion what was it? Clinic. Clinic next to us. Okay. Just to okay. see if they could appraise the mushrooms and do we need is to stock any, up is on anything? Is it going or is it just ghost? Um, I'll go. I'm I'll follow. There's this little, like I doubt there's any kind of I'm just sending clerics ghosts in. there or anything that I, I was just thinking. I doubt there's any clerics there that would have any idea of what was going on with my eye. I'm pulling all the tokens. Your skin was pale. <laughs> yeah, might as well that have a true. quick look. Like they might be able to at least point to a specialist. Da Don. Yeah. <laughs> the Drake is there. Leave me alone. <laughs> As like you get in there and there's just one there's a human lady just there's a human lady in like this uh kind of cleric y outfit just sitting at a desk doing some paperwork. He's like, Oh hello, how may I, how can I assist you all today? Well uh lady you wanna talk first? Um, well I we ended up coming across some strange mushrooms we couldn't identify on our trip and we wanted to see if they were potentially useful medicine wise. I mean, that sounds more like a job for a druid, but I can always give it a check. Yeah, we don't really know where to start with them, so I'll show the mystery mushrooms. <laughs> and she's like, uh I'm gonna have a roll a really or roll something. I'm assuming if they're... Nature's a wisdom-based skill, right? Uh... I think so. I can check. Int. Nature... Int. 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 It's an int? Yeah, yeah. survival's oh. wisdom. Okay, then that's still a 15. Um, She's like, where did you get these? These yeah, but... don't grow anywhere near here. We had a run-in with some uh, hags in the swamp. <laughs> And you just took their stuff? I mean, they to... attempted to kill us, and yeah. I mean, okay, fair enough. Um, Well, yeah, these are definitely not from this side, if you were heading up. Or, they're not from around here. I don't quite know where they're from. Uh, It does, as like her hand glows, look like they might contain some kind of magical property. Alright. Definitely worth uh, holding on to. Um, Thank you. Uh, she's just like, she has her eyes closed, hand out. It's like, I'm getting a strong invocation vibe from them. Turtle does not know what this means. <laughs> no response from uh, Jemima? Uh, I'll, I don't know what I'd say. Like, is it like a spell component? Like, I literally do not know what an invocation is. It does sound vibe. like it's a spell component. Okay. Invocation's a type of spell. Okay. That thought invocation is all I was wondering. Invocation is the blasting school of magic. It's the one that, you know, summons fireballs and all that uh, kind of okay. stuff. Yeah, invocation is basically bringing things into being in terms of, like, combat magic. Okay. Or, do you say that out loud? Yeah. And she says, or potentially healing wounds or such. Yes, that is true. Because, yes, surprisingly, invocation magic also heals. That blew my damn mind the first time I heard it. Can I burn things to heal? No. <laughs> so, I'm assuming something happens if you were to possibly ingest these. <laughs> Yeah, let's not eat the random magic mushrooms till we know or, what to do. Or it's either you either set them on fire or you ingest them. Or maybe she like goes, she gives one maybe a little tug so it tears a little bit. Nothing happens. Like okay, thank God. Um. Yeah, it's either 
You set them on fire or you eat them. All right. Well, thank you for your information. And uh, Jemima, do you want to? Uh... Um. Yeah, I was thinking I should probably have. I don't know if you could manage a a checkup. I guess because I had a curse put upon me, and I don't know if it's fully gone or not. And um. um well, they said I woke up morning looking pale. I can give you a check over, dearie, but it's it does cost a little bit. Let's see how much do I have. <laughs> I've got some I on me too. I have seven hundred and seventy-three. Or me. Fine. How much is it? Let me just double check. It'll uh, it'll just cost uh fifty gold. Oh, that's fine. I was afraid that I would be you know, intruding on a busy schedule or something. Well, we don't have many patients, and I have stocked up for this just in case, because of how close we are to that bog. I yeah. mean, we have been very good, so I haven't, I'm haven't. i not running low on supplies or anything, so I can do this cheap. Well, thank you. As like she puts her hand on you, it's like, Okay, I don't feel anything. And the spell's not reacting, so I'm pretty sure you're fine. Oh, um, it definitely feels like something was there, but I don't feel any residual any energy, but it's like, I can't get a good read on it. God is turning into a robot. Yeah. Doesn't sound that bad to me. It's oh, maybe it's just me. Way. Okay. You're, you're going robot. Just do a connect, reconnect. Like, otherwise, I mean, there's this one, I hate recommending, recommending this lady, but she's really good at divination magic. We've heard of her, uh, we were going to go I've, see her. I've heard a couple patients who didn't quite like my, what I say. They basically mm -hmm. go there and it's said that she can look at your soul. Well, I suppose we're going to go visit the divination lady. We already had a reason to see her before, and now we've got more of one. I wonder if Zareem will appear almost invisible to her. <laughs> okay. Okay. As, uh, I'm guessing you're going to collect your friends and go from there? Yep. So... Uh, you guys are walking along down towards that lower district, and you see, uh, you see Zareem and a dwarf sitting outside on a, on a, uh, patio, just going like, or no, not a patio, a stoop, and it's just like, well, the He's fuck? <laughs> I think that was crit! That was well-timed. I that motherfucking ice cream! Hey, crit, you're right really in well. time! Whoa, oh. what's going on? We that were was just totally back not to you guys. planned. <laughs> Holy shit! It's chocolate and Oreo. All right, so did <laughs> some asshole decided to cut me off on the way back, so I raced home. So uh, yeah, crit literally just got back to us. So perfect oh, timing. nice, good timing. I have chocolate ice cream. Uh, we so heard. Dawn saw walked up and saw me and the dwarf on a stoop. Uh, Dawn, as you're walking, as actually you guys are all walking around, uh, roll me a perception check just fast. Me. Yeah, everyone. Uh, Except for uh, Crit. And me? My gosh, stop moving this. Well, Adrian Good sees nothing. Not. You want me to roll one, right? Yeah, just because you've been sitting down there. Well. Good grief, my rolls are hot this week. <laughs> well, this makes sense because the two people who did this, as you guys are walking down a lower district, you start on the other side of like the canyon. You're walking around and you're just barely look up this. You're looking up and you see up this guy's cloak. You swear to God, you see Eden. Wait. You mean as, into the hood of the cloak? Let's let's get this like, specifically like worded. Like as he's up his dick hole. <laughs> he's uh, walking. Your mama knows this. Basically, this guy is walking uh, on the edge around a higher district, and you guys are looking up just because you're like, wow. And you look up, and you can you have the perfect angle just to see his face under the cloak. <laughs> and it's like that's Eden. 
Wait, that's Eden. <laughs> Eden! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> That wasn't very nice in my throat either, so okay. Uh, no so, response. Would Zareem have um, heard her shout this? I'm really torn because I'm like, on the one hand, I need to go over here and talk to this lady. On the other person, I like, um... Mm -hmm. roll, a, roll a perception, Nitz. Okay. No. Okay, good. <laughs> uh... He looks like he was, like, maybe two levels above you, so he was pretty far away. Oh. Darn it! You don't the even DC... have the robot to eat you. The DC on that check was 18. I mean, I have fly. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> Hold on, you guys. Don't go talk to that lady without me. <laughs> Well, they can't exactly talk What lady? What the fuck did I miss? Uh, we just Dawn... lost Dawn. No, we didn't. No, we lost Sky. We lost Sky. Uh, Dawn's casting fly on herself to go yes. see Eden. The lady they're going to is to check on her soul. And also, it's the yeah. divination person who can help us track down our tiefling. It's like and, a divination uh, wizard. Name of other dude that we don't like. So, Tibble. so as Tibble. like you're running for, as like you're flying forward... You get up there and you watch as he like turns a corner towards like a door, and mm -hmm. he pulls off his hood. It, you know, right away you notice this guy's much. Eden's a bigger guy. This guy's smaller. Oh god! Another. And he has black hair. Do we have another Eden alternate? It's, it's not Ivan, is it? Like, what? compared to even and Ivan, this guy's small. So well, like, what does Jemima do? Uh, I mean, is it, like, considered bad uh, manners in this world to, like, be like, hey, I saw, you know, your alternate somewhere? Yeah, kind, uh, I don't think most people realize that there's, most people al don't that, that know there's alternates. alternates and stuff. So, like, I'm not gonna, like, walk up to him and go, hi, I know your alternate. But I mean, like, is Eden aware that, like, Eden's aware that the alternates exist? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, just, you know, randomly, you know, striking up a conversation with a stranger to get a couple bits of information and then telling Eden later when we see him. Like, I don't know if they like keeping tabs on alternates or what. I imagine they probably do want to keep tabs on alternates because an alternate either means that like, if it's not someone from this current world, which Ivan is this world's Eden. Remember? Mm. Is he? So that means this guy is from some other world. I'm inclined to believe the halfling on that. Like, we we already established that Ivan was this world's Eden. He has a reputation in this world. He's been here his whole life. He had no idea what an alternate was. So, I think I maybe need to find out this guy's name. Maybe just walk up to him and call him Eden and be like, oops, sorry, <laughs> yeah. wrong person. And... Uh, Eden! Oh! Um. <laughs> the guy turns and is like, he, he looks both so he's like, I'm sorry, you look like a person I know. Um, I, I, I'm really, really sorry. Uh. Um, uh, no, no problem. Um, introduce bye? yourself, Dawn. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm intruding. <laughs> just, just give your name and, you know, and say goodbye, because uh, proper etiquette uh, would entail a name uh, back. Yeah. Um, sorry, Jemima. <laughs> uh, Adam, how can I help you? I just, uh... Where's Eve? Uh, <laughs> hush. Um. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go, you know, go back down and meet my friends and die in a hole now. <laughs> um. Writing down in my notebook his name's Adam. <laughs> um, oh. Okay. Uh. I gotta go. Sorry. As, I'm like, he long. walks into that Adventures Guild. 
Mm. Awkward D and D encounters. I have dirt to give to Eden. <laughs> okay. So as you get back and they're all sitting on a stoop, eventually the door opens up and uh, Johan walks out and it's like the deed is done. We don't get to be there when it happens? What? I had something I wanted to say. Okay, you you open the door and step outside. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're... Uh. Uh, so by the way, you copied... You also got a copy of some of its stuff. Oh, nice. Did he learn uh, any skills? Yeah, you know how to be... You know how to be a forge hand. Fuck yeah! That's metal. And Literally. you now have a sleeper <laughs> robot. Danny. You can hang out with Yo not Johan, uh, Jonah. Whenever you need downtime. It's almost like we have a plan now for when Janai wants mm -hmm. to come back. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Hi. What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So. What the fuck did you guys do while I was gone? I have to watch the video. What the fuck? So... <laughs> <laughs> We're going out to see a divination so, wizard. Do we see Everyone Jemima Everyone like cans skip. Yeah, you see Jemima fly back down. <laughs> I'm gonna t bid farewell to the... <laughs> Uh, blacksmith and tell him I hope he enjoys his new, uh, upgrade. Like, well, hopefully it gets rid of that lag in the, uh, in the order fetching, so have a good one. I think it made it worse. <laughs> Can I'm I gonna... see my new brother? <laughs> you look back and it salutes you. <laughs> yes! <laughs> And as soon as the dwarf walks back in, he gets back to normal slot, normal space. Good. Oh. You now have a sleeper droid. Good. I'm, I'm going to inform them that uh, Johan got plugged into the other robot. You know, Someone would say that's jacked up. <laughs> no, jacked in. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you did copy your core program into it. Okay. So, as I'm assuming, you're all heading to the divination place. Yes. Oh, oh my <laughs> God, Dawn. <laughs> wait, who's wait. the coward? Oh, wait. Adrian. This guy. Yeah. Why is Adrian such a bitch? Who knows? <laughs> like, just... <laughs> but isn't Scarecrow the cowardly one? No. No. Oh, I'm no, the lion. lion. Yeah. If I only had a brain. <laughs> I mean, like... Hey! <laughs> that, no. I mean, I can, oh, yeah. I can point so. fingers at, some, at other people and so. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> okay, so. You guys eventually... Get to a place you have to ask around a couple bit, a little bit, and uh, somebody eventually points you towards this alleyway on this down here. Oh, well, that's a good start. That's always I'd, a good start. I'd... Where you see a door with a uh, <laughs> it Continue. with like a a weird crystal ball logo on it. I'm assuming this is the place with I'd like a like... little sign on the handle that says "open." <laughs> I'd ask Johan to link arms with me and skip, but I think that that would be completely unfeasible. <laughs> Open the By door. the way, it's it's <laughs> kind of like one of those sketchy doors that are down a, a crit. It's kind of like our like the door that leads to our patio from our our uh, you, side door. It's like one of those doors with a sliding bolt like eye thing no, so they can look at people. It's like a in an alley that goes downstairs. Oh yeah. Ah okay. Oh. I'll open it. It goes down it, to a basement basically. Yeah. Open it and go in. Okay. Darkness is friend. In. Yes. Do I hear a dingling ling ling? <laughs> it looks like there's a waiting room. Yep, as you guys get in there, there's just a waiting room and it says, it says, take a number. I will take What's a number. What's the current number? 434. Yes, can you move that token? Uh, yeah. Okay. 
Uh, it says you are next. That's uh, a good number. My favorite Dawn's number. Dawn's been X'd out, apparently. I, I was trying to grab my token. <laughs> As, uh, hold, hold on, Sky. Hold on, Sky. As, uh, this, that's actually a locked door. There's a draped door right here. What's the yellow box? As, like, you get in there, or as you get over here, it's like, there's a cat by the door. It's so, like, we will be taking people in five minutes. Okay. Meow. Can I pet the kitty? The cat walks back into the black room. No, Kitty, come back. I want a pet. Meow. Get uh, eventually, some time corner. passes and the curtain opens, and it's like, two may enter. Uh, I will call uh, Dawn over. Oh. Or Jemima, sorry. Yeah. As like you get in, it's it's a really it's a <laughs> darkly lit room. And you can clearly see a crystal ball on a table. And it goes, or as the voice says, Now, once again, the collateral is not free. The service does cost 50 gold each. That's hmm. not where the problem is. No robo. <laughs> you spelled that wrong. I corrected it. What? Adrian. As, like, you guys get in the room. <laughs> All right, well, I will put 100 gold on the table then. Okay. Like, I only take two customers at a time. Three is my limit, and I do not assist constructs. I'm not in the room! Turtle, you're not supposed to be in the room either. All right, all right. <laughs> if you want to have a third person in here, it's an extra 100. Nope. We're good. It's like, they can wait. Now, what can I assist you all with today? And this is a very well, it's, she's very well robed up and concealed. It's a gentle voice, but it's like, there's really no, you can't see anything of her other than her clothes. All right, well, Even been... like long black gloves. The hundred's been paid, so go ahead and ask your, uh... uh. Hang on, I'm sorry, I was writing notes down. I'm really glad Dawn takes notes. <laughs> she's wearing this like if you're asking about colors it's really this really like dark blue with like black mixed in alright well while Dawn takes her notes I guess I could ask yes. so how much do you know about like shadowy cursed capes and stuff <laughs> I mean as much as the next person uh well this cape was on fire is there it, it, it lit me on fire it didn't hurt or anything it was just you know like a shadowy flame um i mean i don't really handle i handle more spiritual questions or possibly a location spell here now i don't really handle all right, then Magic I will items. ask my question after uh, about a location after she asks about her condition. <laughs> All right. Um, mm -hmm. I was recently cursed, and oh. supposedly the curse has been lifted. But I was told that something may have lingered, and I woke up this morning looking pale, apparently. And I was wondering if you could get kind of a reading on that. Uh, I certainly can. Is like, she just asks, just put your hands on the crystal ball. Okay. As like she whips out a fan and covers her face, covers, like you know that fan in front of the face thing. You see a fan just gets whipped out. Mm -hmm. So, are you putting your hand on the crystal ball? Yes, yes I am. Instantly, you notice that it begins to glow. <laughs> this like bright. It's like this dimly lit white, but you also notice that there's some black specks on it coming through. Hmm. Your soul seems to ha there's a blight on your soul. That's what the lady told me. 
it seems to be a marking of some kind. What kind of marking? Do you have any idea what it would be? As, like, she... Fan close to the face, leaning in, it's like... I don't recognize the markings. They seem to be... Old. And it's a small... They're very small. It looks like it's only taken about maybe... And it's only infected your soul about an eighth. Would it be someone that... So, would it be something that someone would use to, like, track me? Definitely something that could be possible. Um, That's not good. Oh, I don't see any, like, malicious intent here, but definitely worth some concern, although... Oh, that's interesting. What is? You have, you have your eyes set on somebody. Uh... Yeah? I would drop that. Why? Mm, that... It's above your pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> she chuckles a little. As, like, the fan comes back and she leans... Uh, the fan closes and she, she leans back. Like... Uh, sometimes the... Sometimes... Things aren't meant to be. Or... Our things are just destined for other places, and that one is destined for other places. I don't care. We'll try as much as you like, then I... That little information I'll give you for free. Mm. And now your question, sir? I actually have two. I'm gonna go... Would you mind uh, answering both if I give you another 50? Certainly. All right, well, first, I'd like you to look in on my soul and, you know, just check on how things are going. Okay. Give my engine a, a checkup. <laughs> so, once again, fan comes out. If you would please place the place your hand. All right, I place my hand. Dawn, the second that you see it, you see that, like, Dawn can even see this. <laughs> the The light coming out of it glows, but then you watch as... A lot of it just slowly disappears till you have about half of what it was originally, and then mm. half of it begins to darken like how Dawn's was. You have the same mark upon your soul. <clears throat> hmm? If I can ask, what were you two doing to get such a... That's quite a... I got stabbed by a psychopath. That doesn't sound fun. So what happened to you? Well, you see, I traded it for this uh, powerful staff here. I'm sorry, you traded parts of your soul? Yeah. Um. So I have a tera the basically the Lord <laughs> of all Tarasks as a personal friend. I'm I'm gonna fly <laughs> away from him. I mean, admittedly, she can divine things, so maybe she would know this. And it's like but... the fans up, and she's like, seems legit. <laughs> As like she's reading your soul. Oh, oh and you don't seem to like that man either. <laughs> Which man? The same oh. man that she has her eyes on. Uh, yeah, you know. I'll kick both of the people in this room in the shins. <laughs> yeah, well, it seems fair enough considering you're from two separate worlds. Seems like you're both destined for the same route, though. Huh. I'm gonna keep that knowledge what do you away mean from, from two separate worlds. worlds. I'm sorry. What do you mean? What do you mean from two separate worlds? You mean from him compared to that man? Yes. Well, one is meant for the physical plane, and the other is meant for the Shadowfell. Okay. Which, <laughs> that is quite potent magic on you. You you may want to consider getting some of that back if you can. 
I'll consider that, you know. In the eternal words of a wise person, you should go to the hospital about that. <laughs> <laughs> Considering it Why looks like... Why here? I Hold don't on. know... How much of it did you sell? All oh, but one fragment. About a seventh of it. I okay. <laughs> and... So you have about... You have... I'm assuming half a soul now. I should actually have less. Well, this says you have half a soul and half your soul is corrupted. Huh. So a quarter of his total <laughs> soul is fucked. Half is gone, a quarter is corrupted, a quarter remains. Sounds fun. You definitely may want to consider getting that looked at by the person you sold it to. Um... Because, yeah, no, that... Yours is spreading more frequently than hers is. I think he does owe us a favor. He saved yes. his dog. Can, like, I, I can't stress this enough. It's, it looks like it's eaten. Do you happen to know Fairlax? Who? <laughs> I doubt she does. All right, I'll be sure to talk to Fairlax. Because after all, I don't want my money I spent on him, you know, being wasted. <laughs> or. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, if that is all your questions, you may now uh, leave. The The final question I oh. was for, uh, we're trying to locate someone. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Jemima, would you mind describing? One of them is a tiefling. Red skin, yellow eyes, black hair that kind of falls across half his, half his head. Chitty goatee. Little beard. Shitty <laughs> goatee. <laughs> All right. Have you met him before? <laughs> I see how it is. Dressed fairly nicely. The other one's a dragonborn. Didn't get a really good description of him. The tiefling's the one that stabbed me. His name is Debalt. <sighs> if you would, if you don't mind, if you could approach and tell me where he or show me the stab wound. Well, it's under a blouse and a just if an you could just and... show me the general location. It was my side. Zareem looks away. As, like, <laughs> hand... As, like, the thing goes up once again and she places her hand on your side. Seems like he was in the city a few weeks or days ago. Sometimes it can be a little hard to see. You can clearly see him stabbing you, but he seems to be moving around. Through... He likes to use the shadows. Yes, I'm seeing that. Um, is there any specific reason you're looking for him, or is it just to get revenge for the stabbing? Well, I do want some revenge, but I suppose it won't. I hope is it won't it hurt about anything to tell the you. The eggs. Yes. Oh, that's an interesting little mission you're on. Him I... or someone he's with. It seems. That is not a dragonborn. What the hell is that? Is this the I character speaking? I don't know. Speaking? I can't see that, it. Uh, that is her speaking. She's like, I don't know what that is, but that is evil was, on so many levels. I was told it was a dragonborn. I or, don't No, remember. you were told it was dragon-like. Oh, dragon-like. I'm sorry. They oh. showed you a corpse. In <laughs> <laughs> and, okay, out of character, it has been two weeks since and the last time we character, played, and still it's, have... been, it's been over a month since we And out of character, it's in the handouts. Look, I'm tired, and I didn't write down, like, notes, and I didn't check over it. Okay, like, also, also dragon-like versus dragon-born, like, uh, the fact yeah, you remember that much. I forgot Danny, what the dragon. wording was, Danny, okay? I did not have that. Yeah, also, I did definitely didn't have that. I'm yeah, looking I through. didn't have it either. I'm looking it's through it right now. It's, it's, it's third handout. down. Oh, it, huh. I love it's called Run. I'm sorry. It's been a very one. rough couple of days, and I forgot exactly what that thing was. So this is one of the culprits. The one that they said that got away was blue. Yes. It's. It's dragon-like, humanoid, blue. I don't know much else because I didn't see it. I don't know what that is, but it's. I've seen it. 
it's Happy? dead. It's well then. It's a it's a demon. Who killed it? That makes our life a little bit more difficult, doesn't it? Then it not too much. We fought <laughs> demons before. It has a symbol on it. What symbol? Tiamat. Uh-huh. It's a follower of Tiamat. Yeah, it was Dragon Cultist for chasing. That is right. <laughs> Um, if you're looking for, I would start by stopping at major shops in town and see if you can, if they would allow you to take a look around. Otherwise, I can't see where they went, but there's definitely something here. A lingering presence. Well, in that case, we have to look around in the shops. Yay. Thank you for your help. No problem. Does anyone else have questions? That would be for the turtle or Adrian. I don't think I have any critical story elements I need to ask about. Tell me I'm not allowed to ask questions. Yeah, <laughs> she said she doesn't deal with constructs. <laughs> I mean, she I mean, you could... <laughs> might be able to. You could stick the hang thing through the door. No, and Adrian's be like... holding it right now. <laughs> and just be like, what? do you deal with, do you <laughs> you deal with hang heads? <laughs> Look in chat. I let, I let Sky into my stomach locker. Oh, God. <laughs> He's currently holding the head. Okay. Careful, he said. Sky, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna walk outside. Okay. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that Johan is following me. Yeah! <laughs> uh, so we're in the alley now, right? Yeah. Alright, oldest trick in the book. Johan, look, there's a robot behind you. Uh, one, of, one, of, one of his models. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here's how this works. Sky, roll a deception. Crit, roll an insight. If I, if I pass this save, I'm punching you in the face. You gotta roll a 17. Oh! <laughs> As like, <laughs> as, like, he looks, he clean clocks you. Adrian goes <laughs> out. I, I'm, I'm misty stepping to the uh, top of the nearest building. Is Adrian okay. flying out the door? <laughs> no, he's teleporting up. He, misty step, you have to see where you're going. You don't. I don't think so. He can clearly see at the top of a building. Okay, well. Oh, um, boy. We're outside the shop now. Ah, uh, they are. Well, I'm gonna step outside and see if I can just shout for Fairlax. Okay. Adrian, get down Maybe from there. Maybe try right his now. door to appear. Okay. So, so I'm on top of the roof right now, right, Danny? You're on, you're on the floor above them. Adrian, uh, please is it, uh, come uh, down is from it, there. Is it like a clear? Right now. Is it like a flat, like a bunch of flat roofs and stuff? You're, you're currently sitting on like a on a grate. Okay, but am I, like, on a roof? No, you're on the, the f- next level up. I wanted to get to the roof. Then there is no roof here. You went into it like a- The alley's kind of like a cave in. There was another mm-hmm. alley on top of this one with a vent that you were able to see and get through. Hey, Danny. Okay. I'm climbing. I'm gonna- I'm gonna try and parkour to the- <laughs> Another uh, The robot's chasing you now. I he know. Started, I'm gonna started. try and parkour to another building. You have the cursed head in your hands, right? I'm aware. Just throw it. <laughs> and he's gonna get it. We need to get rid of it. Not... Uh, so you managed to get 20 feet. Okay. Acrobatics, so... <laughs> Sky, he's like... He's 30 feet behind he's you. He's catching up. He, got, he just got past the grate. Uh, are there any, like, corners that I can turn? It's a straight hallway. You can run back out and then run to a staircase. I'm gonna keep going until there's a corner that I can turn. Oh, oh no. Oh, he's catching up. He's 20 feet now. Okay, is there a corner? Uh, sure. I'm gonna turn the corner, drop, and try and stealth. You're not Zuridar, you know. No, but I still have a high stealth. 
so turn a corner, drop where? Like, drop to the floor and try and stealth. You mean that thing I walk on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but okay. If, but, if, but if I'm stealthy, you can't see me. He can I, step, step on you. Step on you. Well, no, no, no. I'm not like, I'm not like laying on the floor. But. <laughs> I will allow this if you want to turn a corner and hide behind a box. Yeah, yeah. So roll <laughs> stealth check. Goodbye. <laughs> As, like, you see him turn a corner, he stealths, grabs a rock off the ground, and chucks it down the hallway towards, like, another corner. And you think he's still going. The angry robot just rock. ran right by you. I'm, changed that, I'm chasing that fucking rock. <laughs> I want to gonna... point out, Sky, before yeah. you do anything else... If you don't give him that head back, he has a tendency to pull body parts off. That's okay. Uh, I'm gonna go, like, across... Is there, like, a street nearby? Yeah. I'm gonna go across the street into well, an well, alley on once that you get side. back on the street, there's the there's a 20-foot gap that goes straight down. It's, like, 30 <laughs> feet, and there's another thing. Okay. Is there a good hiding spot anywhere around here? Uh, if you go upstairs, there might be. I'll go upstairs. Just, just run and try to find a building to hide in. I, well, not for me, for the head. Oh, <laughs> I mean, if you throw it, you might go all the way down the ravine. That sounds good. <laughs> I'll do that. So roll the strength check. Yeah, yeet. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh no. <laughs> It's Kobe for distance. <laughs> Eat is for accuracy. <laughs> well, yeah, he's aiming Sky, for down the, the ravine. Oh, no, yeah. Here's accurate, the issue, because I know Crypt's done this to me in the past. He yeeted it too hard. It's now in the, in the middle of the road on the other side of the other side of the gap. Wait. So, so it's just, just in the middle back. of the road now? In the middle of the road on the other side of the gap. Danny? There's about a 50-foot gap in between you and I have a quick question. Was and it then still it... wrapped? Yeah. I was gonna say, um, did some civilian just see a head land next to them? They saw a, they saw a ball-shaped object get That's thrown across. That's real fucking bad. What's a ball? Okay. I'm gonna, <laughs> Sorry, it, I'm it, gonna it, run back to the group now. It, <laughs> it's good there. Someone I will find it. I used a fly. Do you want levitate? <laughs> I'm, I ran chasing a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, roll, this, roll the, this fuck um, train don't stop. <laughs> so, so roll me a intelligence check really fast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you eventually get like two alleys down. It's like the fuck did he go? They think, what if he double backed on me? What if he runs into you, Sky? I'm about to get my shit kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> so as you're just getting back to the group, you hear this dun 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 dun. <laughs> as like as you get back to the group and go, hey, what's up, guy? Uh, there's a shadow behind you. <laughs> this freight train don't stop. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I, I'm i gonna still shout for Fairlax while they're fighting because the uh, no response. Open for a magic door. Yeah, no what's up, Johan? Where is Patrice? <laughs> what's, what's a Patrice? I'm gonna put my hand on his head. <laughs> <laughs> no, not again, not again. <laughs> Where is Patrice? What's a Patrice? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what a Patrice is. <laughs> I'm gonna Pick squeeze a little bit. <laughs> Do I take damage? Don, oh, no. please step in. Don, please step okay, in. Okay, okay. Both of you. Yes. Um, what? Johan, stop. Johan, go. I let like go. <laughs> Adrian, what did you do with that thing he was carrying? What thing? Adrian? What thing? Agent, roll exception. What 
thing. Don't Might I interject? This is the thing the guards know we entered the city with, so if they randomly turn it up, they're not going to be happy with us. Adrian. Yeah. Adrian, that thing was the thing that we were told to be very careful with. Yeah. And not show it around. And not let it out of our sight. Adrian? It's kind of out of everyone's sight now. But Adrian! <laughs> Well, I'm spending 50 gold to find Beatrice. <laughs> Beatrice! Beatrice. Adrian! Yeah? Okay, Where is it? That's fear damage. It doesn't do actual damage, but it's frightful. <laughs> Roll right. a wisdom save. Wisdom <laughs> save? That's a you feel like you should do this or you're going to get shanked repetitively. <laughs> and somehow that's more scary than the robot. Jemima, may I continue? No, you may not. You are not ripping off any more limbs of people that, like, no, no ripping off limbs of people we care about. Okay. Listen, that that head is cursed. It's look, it's bad juju look, look, shit. Look, look, we don't look, need look. to mess with that. And you threw Adrian. it into the Adrian. middle of a city. Adrian, it was contained for the moment because it was put away in. His storage container thing. You just let it loose in the city. What's it gonna a do? Horse Sp sprout loose in the hospital. <laughs> what, what's it gonna do? Sprout baby legs and run across the I city? I don't know. Uh, right. Sky roll perception check. <laughs> <laughs> as often the distance you hear cackling of a hag. Mm. Adrian. I'm gonna go walk off. Just out of the out of the alley. Does anyone else Where hear the that? cackling? Aw oh, dang. Danny? So I'm in, just, I'm talking to the I, divination I person. He has higher perception, he would be the only one who could pick it up. Alright, well. Guy, you're walking back to where you threw it. No, I'm just walking out <laughs> to the alley. Uh the second you get out of the alley, you see a kid carrying it. Oh no! <laughs> He'll be fine. Does oh, anyone... what the fuck? <laughs> so, are we? We're all following him, right? Does yeah. anyone else see it? Yeah. You see a kid carrying a sack that looks familiar. I'm gonna haste the robot. We <laughs> 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 roll that. He trips. He trips. <laughs> no, no. I just I take a step forward and then I just fall face first. <laughs> all right, that that works too. You definitely caught the attention of the kid. He says, "Wow." Wow! A shitty robot! <laughs> <laughs> it's like this kid's holding a thing, and you clearly see it is it is what it is the thing. Yo, I pasted the robot. The robot can now move super fast and grab the head. How do you have haste? He has haste. We're, We're level, level eight. eight! Yeah. I didn't think it was a warlock spell. It's a sorcerer spell. Oh, right. Oh, right. I'm gonna get up. <laughs> it has it's been, been a weeks, while. hasn't it? <laughs> Yo, don't beat up the kid. Room, room, oh, no. Room, he's room, beating room. up the kid. <laughs> he's beating up the kid. <laughs> no, but remember, so, this is So here's Netflix. what happens. Here's what happens. He gets back on his feet, looks at the kid, has, like, the Omaiwo Shinru <laughs> eyes pop up, and he's just like, he runs, he grabs the co the lip of the ledge, <laughs> like, in one solid movement, lifts his legs up, pushes, and jets over and lands superhero style in front of the kid. <laughs> hey, uh, kid, he likes pulling heads off. You might want to give that to him. What? You found He's his pet. Turn. Thank you. Is this your, is this ball yours? Yes, please. No, it's, it's yours, it. kid. Keep it. He's like, oh, if it's if it's yours, that was a pretty cool stunt, so here you go. Adrian? I'll put up my stomach locker and put it back inside. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> Adrian. No. I'm trying to murder children. He'll be fine. It's just a decapitated Adrian? head. Adrian. It's just a cursed decapitated head. What's Adrian? the worst that could happen? So so Sky Oh, hang on a second, I cast a spell. <laughs> oh god. No! What? He cast a spell. What's fifty four on the wild magic table? Oh no! <laughs> fifty four. Let's see what fifty four is. I've rolled this one before, and that's assuming yeah, the black yeah, flames haven't altered what, what the magic does. 
Uh, it gets more powerful. I have to roll two now. You are immune to being intoxicated by alcohol for the next 5d6 days. Barkeep! Roll 5d6. <laughs> right, roll, roll 5d6. Uh, 19. 19. 19 days. <laughs> I thought it was the 54 and I went, holy shit. <laughs> I can't get drunk for 19 days. Hey, Danny, can we do a tournament? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure you could take some money in a bar with a drinking contest or two. I mean... Actually, Danny, can I? We'll see. More importantly, <laughs> is head back? Head is back. I'm head going... Head. I'm the going... Way, 20 minutes over. Yeah. Uh, so... I'm gonna, th I'm gonna thank it. the divin Divination Master for uh, her We're time. We're inside and long gone, Ghost. Oh, well, I know, but I was, she, she probably informed me that the head was recovered, but I did not want that to fall into the wrong hands in the city when you're responsible for it. We're going to end on you. Mm -hmm. As, like, you're walking out, you see a cloaked man walk into the building. As he gets to about here, as you're walking out, hood off, it's, it's an Eden with black hair. The same one that Dawn saw earlier? Yeah, but you didn't see him, but now you see him. Mm. And that's where we're going to end the session. Sweet. Yay. Well, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. See ya.